Here is a quick update regarding the mad scientist Miron Kesh from the Kesh Foundation who claims to have discovered a new material that is going to revolutionize the entire world. Or not. GANS. GANS? GANS is an acronym. It stands for gas in a nanosolid state. GANS? For example, CO2 is a gas. We exhale it, it spews from our cars, our power plants, and it's causing global warming. Normally, if we want to turn CO2 into a solid, we either have to freeze it, dry ice is frozen CO2, or we have to put it under very high pressure, both of which require a lot of energy to do so. If we want to turn CO2 into a solid at normal room pressure and temperature, well then we are going to need some serious magic, which is where Kesh comes into play. With Kesh's new discovery, we can sequester atmospheric CO2 to reverse global warming and use this new GANS material to revolutionize the entire world. That's what I'm talking about. Too bad it's not real. I purchased one of Kesh's GANS CO2 collection kits, made some of this new material, and shipped it to a laboratory to have it tested. The lab conducted an X-ray diffraction to look at its atoms, as well as an X-ray fluorescence to see its compounds. After $1,000 of professional atomic testing, the results are clear. This material is zinc carbonate and other zinc compounds. It's not CO2, carbon dioxide, nor is it anything more impressive than sunscreen. What the heck, Kesh? We cannot let blind faith substitute the scientific method. We must uphold the highest standards of scientific integrity, which is paramount in both highlighting new discoveries as well as spotlighting serious problems. Now digressing from Kesh. There is a new serious problem arising, and this time it comes from the mainstream physics community. You may have heard of it, the proton problem. We have recently discovered that our measurement for the radius of the proton that we made 100 years ago was way off, and thus our entire standard model in modern physics, which is based upon it, is starting to crumble because of this discrepancy. Really exciting stuff, and a huge opportunity for scientific advancement. Check it out. The proton problem. Test your friends. Share the video. Thank you.